Right, good morning everyone, it's Matt from London Calling. Um, hope you're all well. It's a nice day today, so I'm going to go for a bike ride around Peckham Rye Park. Um, try and show you some of the history, a little bit more of um, what went on there apparently. Um, during the war it was a very... Um, this area was bombed really badly. So all this area was flattened around here apparently. Um, anyway, I'm going to go over to the park and I'll show you some of the, the things that are left and what happened, etc, etc. Alright then? Follow me. Let's go. And I'll start off by walking across this bit here. And I'll show you where the one of London's largest air raid shelters was, which is um right hang on if I can get across this road. the recording this is recording okay yes we are right okay see this area where I'm standing now this is the junction of Peckham Rye, East Dulwich. Peckham, Rye, um, Peckham High Street's down that way. East Dulwich is up there. None heads down there. So this is the start of the Peckham Rye Park. This bit here I'm standing, you see all the grass is kind of strawy. This is an air raid shelter. They filled it in about 20 years ago, which is a shame because I think it was a historical thing. They should have left it, left it, you know, as it was. I think people could have gone to visit it. But anyway, that's what they did. So this was a massive air raid shelter, probably one of the biggest in London, they reckon. Right, I'll take you somewhere else now. I'll just put my, my helmet on, ride the bike a little bit. Yeah, they were bringing out all artifacts. I remember at the time they brought out all sorts of stuff from the war. Okay, well, that's fact number one. Let's see if I can give you 10 things. I'm trying to keep fit. It's quite a few things. It's a beautiful day. Now, over here. Number two, see this here, this totem. This was done in 2014. Um, I can't remember the name of the artist now, sorry. But apparently, this is an old tree that was, I believe it was, um, it was there for years and it was knocked down in the, um, the storms of, two, of 87, 86. This was carved in 2014 by I can't remember the name of the artist, but anyway, it's apparently that's to do with William Blake. Apparently he was supposed to have seen some angels in the park. I think he might have been tripping on something, but anyway. I think there's a book about it. Uh, apparently that's something to do with Gustav Klimt at the bottom bit. The artist. And their little faces. Uh, it's very, you can look up the history of it. Um, these are people holding hands. It's supposed to be about friendship and everything, bringing people together. It's interesting, isn't it? Anyway, let's move on. There's yeah, just a little thing to look at if you're over here. Right, let's go up this way. Oh. Them bones, them old bones. Oh, it's lovely today though, I've got to say. I'm going to get out and about. Everybody should get out today if they can. My legs are still aching from yesterday because I just started bike riding again for after about six months to a year I haven't ridden a bike. over here still in the park sort of thing just over the road I want to show you this plaque ah. right this area here it says in memory of 24 people who died from a V1 missile strike at this site on the 22nd of June 1944 well, the V1 was the flying bomb, wasn't it? The, the Germans sent over. You can see there, look. A scary thing. I mean, apparently the guy who built these went on to work for NASA and helped them do the space um, launch to the moon and everything, which is a bit, a bit naughty. 
and um, yeah, we're going to help get us to the moon, America's to the moon. The violent destructiveness of the V1 missiles is very evident in Peckham and Nunhead Townscape. At this wartime, London Council bomb damage map shows. It was not uncommon for 10 or more houses to be demolished in one strike. In many cases, new brick-faced modernist multi-story housing blocks were built on the impact sites. There is a typical example directly in front of you, here in Peckham Rye, which was built in the 1950s. Well, those blocks, you see them everywhere, don't you? They're sort of council-type concrete blocks because um, of the bombing during the war. Over there, there used to be a Lido. And um, it used to be free, it was brilliant. But in 1987, they closed it. They said they couldn't keep up the upkeep of it. It was for the local people, and it's just a shame. I used to go there, actually, when I first came to live in London. Look at this old advert. Thomas Glove Fitting, long waisted corset. You need to get your belly in. I think that's for women, I should imagine. The factory of Peck and Rye may cause it to Oh, yeah, look at that. Oh, you can read it. The painting from 1944 is a vivid image of the chaos after the V1 missile struck. The Carroll and Clayton Roads on the 19th of July. Six houses in the factory were blown up. There is a 1950s housing block on this site today. Doodlebug Summer brought 29 missile strikes over a short two month period to Peckham. The loss of 158 lives. So people suffered back then just like we're suffering a little bit now. Uh, at 8.50 a.m. on Thursday, the 22nd of June, 1944, a V-1 missile, or Doodlebug, as it's what used to call him, nickname, hit a factory on the site, killing 24 people, mostly teenage girls. The factory building was comprised of three large Georgian houses converted into a corset factory. The workers in the factory were making silk parachutes for the war effort. Most of the fatalities were sheltering in a bomb shelter in the rear garden when the factory took a direct hit. Collapsed upon the shelter, trapping the people and taking them. Wait a minute, sorry. Yeah, it says here, um, most of the facilities, most of the fatalities were sheltering in the bomb shelter in the rear garden when the factory took a direct hit. It collapsed upon the shelter, trapping the people, taking cover. There, all crikey. Initially, buried survivors could be heard singing, but by the time they were dug out, all had perished. Oh my god. The London summer of 1944 became known as the Doodlebug Doodle Summer. Wow. Starting on the 13th of June, a series of new missiles were launched towards the capital when the Germans last desperate and ill fated effort to turn the tide of the World Second World War. Oh man, please. Look at that. These are the people that lost their lives. Sad's that. Okay, number three, that's a... Uh, oh, there, you alright? First the upper history. Yeah, yeah, why not? Yeah, that's the Second World War, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. That's all this, all this was bombed, wasn't it? And not yeah. the factory there. It could be a soul bomb over there, things are going, then. I hope not. Yeah. I know, I know. It'll all be gone. It's worrying, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, I hope so, not. Enjoy while you're here. Exactly. Yeah. Still at the moment, yeah, I'm trying you, to. You can't take money to the grave, can you? Nah, no. nah. You've never seen a hearse with a safe in the back. Nah, 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 nah. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Mm. Right, okay. If you want to get here, there's some of the buses. You can see, look, 343 P12 comes here. Okay, let's cross over. Nice guy that was. Now, right, we're back in Peckham Rye Common now. You know what? Welcome. Here we go. Okay. Let's take a ride down this way. Got to keep fit. Come on, boys and girls, let's get our running shoes and our bikes on if you can do it. Let's walk, let's ride up this way. Whoa. It's more fun riding the bike, actually. The funny thing is, when you're on the bike, it's filmed slow, but when you actually look at the film back, it looks like you're doing about 50 miles an hour. It's bizarre. It's a strange thing. Here we 
mean, you wonder whether you should wear a mask when you're riding the bike. But it's, you know, try, good thing about the bike is you can avoid people more. So, and when you're jogging, it's you kind of find yourself in a little groove. People who jog don't seem to want to move. Want to knock you out of the way, especially. I believe um, I've heard that the story of that um, Boadicea or Boudicca, as some people call her, the ancient Britain war queen. She was a warrior queen, wasn't she? She um, tried to get. It was during the time of the Romans. She tried to drive them out of London or England, even. Apparently, murdered her daughter or something and raped her daughter. But the story goes that she was. It's just this is not it's a myth more than anything. That she had a fight on battle on died on Peckham Rye and was buried here. I don't think that's true because a lot of people are claiming it. But apparently it's just a story that goes around a myth. Anybody tells you bike, don't get your fit. Are wrong. <laughs> In my opinion. Right. Let's go this way. We've got some nice little gardens here as well. If people are into gardening, you've got the sexy garden, Japanese garden. Apparently during the war, this was all allotments, so they put the park into allotments. And every summer now, bring you up to date, they have loads of festivals here. Music festivals, Irish do. Um, they have a Latino festival, they have some sort of DJs and stuff. In October, they have the Zippo Circus, they have fairs, they have all sorts. Obviously, rules football over there sometimes, rugby. They have the army military guy come over here do their training. Uh, well, you've got everything there, really. There's a new little adventure playground thing for the kids there. That's only been put there recently. And that calf, which is a note, which for mothers and babies calf normally, is two of them. There's one over the road there on the other side, where my head's pointing. And uh, you've got this one. It's obviously at the moment, it's still in shutdown. It's Thursday today, 16th. Yeah, I believe that's right. This bit here, up until recently, there used to be huts here. And these huts were um, for Italian the prisoners of war that were um, brought over from North Africa in a fight in North Africa and they, um, I'll show you, they kept them here and we made them go to work like doing buildings and stuff and farming and etc. This is it, that's where the huts used to be, it's only recently they've knocked them down, they were there for years site of the prison of war huts this is a an aerial view of it there look a view of view of the prison of war huts italian pow's grew vegetables in this plot on the top right hand side and anti-air gun huts i think you can see that not yeah during the second world war the British Armed Forces fought the Italian Army in North Africa and by the beginning of 1941 over 130,000 Italian soldiers had been taken prisoner. This number increased after the Italian government surrendered to the Allies on the 8th of September 1943 due to labour shortages. Italian POW were transported to Britain for work in agriculture, bomb damage clearance and construction work. Uh, the smaller huts on the left were used for anti-aircraft battery uh, raised pigs and chickens are there interesting anyway yeah good today lovely isn't it absolutely beautiful dogs are out kids are getting techy there we are let's go into the Okay, what a bit of the park do I need to look at? Got me little notes here. 
says here the park was purchased for 51,000 by Southwark County Council in 1894. 54 acres apparently. Uh, the name um, Peckham is supposed to be Anglo-Saxon for village and Peck was a river which is over there. River Peck, still there a little bit. So yeah, Peckham Rye, village river I suppose. Um, Apparently, yeah, the artist William Blake, some tree around here, written he saw angels in it. The Visions of Angels, a book about it, apparently. Visions of Angels, 1760. I think he was trippy on something, for sure. They have the fireworks, obviously, in November over here as well, so the Zippo Circus is normally around there, and all the fairs they have. Okay, let's have a look. There's a plane flying today, look at that. It's starting to get a few more planes in the sky. Yeah. Right, let's go. Let's go, buddy. Okay. Okay, Fred. Now I'm a yugga yugga. I bet you don't remember that song. Okay, here we go. Little signs there, look, visitors centre, playground adventure park. Alright, let's go. Actually, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to go in up this way, take you over the river Peck. Oh, blimey, that, ground, that ground's a bit rough. Great place to bring your kids and everything, your family. It's not the biggest of parks, but it's got a lot going on. Quite a lot to do here, believe it or not, for a small park. Once it all gets back to normal, obviously. Oh, it's so nice just to get out. 